I'm Nick and in this video we'll be talking about yeast infections that seem to happen before your period. Now as you may know the sex hormones estrogen and progesterone rise after ovulation and stay at pretty high levels right up until you get your period. When these two sex hormones drop off that signals your body to shed that vaginal tissue that is built up and you have your menstrual cycle bleeding. Well, these hormones being essential for female reproduction also play a role in helping candida to thrive and cause an infection before your period. So let's take a look at some of the research about this topic. A 2012 study published in the Australasian Journal of Dermatology looked at the correlation between estrogen and yeast infections. The study stated that most women who have yeast infections relating to the time of their menstrual cycle seem to get them before their period. Postmenopausal women rarely get yeast infections according to the study. The exceptions to this are women who have gone past menopause and are now engaging in some type of estrogen replacement therapy. The rate of yeast infections in women on estrogen replacement therapy is much higher than those who are not. A 1995 study published in Microbiology and Immunology looked at progesterone's effects on the immune system. The study found that high levels of progesterone seem to inhibit white blood cells ability to fight off candida. Thus the research showed that there can be a correlation between the immune system function and how well your white blood cells can stop candida invasion. Research has shown that estrogen causes the vaginal cells to synthesize glycogen, which is a type of sugar. Now, perhaps the most likely reason you seem to get a yeast infection right before your period is that estrogen spikes right before ovulation to very high levels and in turn the vaginal cells begin to create more and more sugar. At this time candida can start to get a foothold and start an initial infection right about the same time as ovulation occurs. And as you enter the luteal phase of the menstrual cycle after ovulation, estrogen levels begin to rise again and remain fairly steady. This allows the vaginal tissue to keep creating more and more sugar and the yeast which got its start before ovulation keeps feeding off this sugar and grows and multiplies. The result is the week before your period you seem to have the most severe yeast infection symptoms at this time. So what you can do is you can stop taking estrogen containing birth control pills if you're on them right now or discontinue a estrogen replacement therapy if that is something you're engaging in. This should help to cut back on the amount of sugar that's in the vagina and make it a little bit harder for yeast to get a foothold down there. Also you can insert probiotic bacteria into the vagina such as lactobacillus acidophilus. This bacteria will begin to eat up the sugar that's in the vagina and compete for resources and binding sites with the yeast. Lactobacillus acidophilus for example can also secrete lactic acid as it metabolizes food and this helps to acidify the vagina and keep it less conducive to yeast as they do not prefer a acidic environment. Well for more information on this topic you can check out the article on Candida Hub. The link is below in the description. And while you're there, you can learn about an all natural solution for yeast infections that is guaranteed to get rid of them in 12 hours time. So if this sounds like something you might be interested in, you can check out the website. Okay, hey, thank you so much for watching. See ya.